Hello, welcome to today's class. Look at this polynomial equation. Okay, it's a cubic polynomial equation. The question is x to the power of 3 minus 13, x to the power of 2 plus 51, x plus k is equal to 0. What is the value of k that will make this cubic equation to have three real solutions? Okay, so let's go into this summing. There are much waste of time, so we take our solution. So from here, the first thing we'll do here, we'll go to differentiate this function because k here is a constant. So if it is a constant, we can differentiate with respect to x here. So differentiating here, so we have our f, x prime, this is equal to, if we differentiate this, it's going to give us 3x to the power of 2, and this will give us minus 26x then plus to one, right? So we now have our three x to the power of two minus twenty six x plus fifty one is equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation. So we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. But for us to use the factorization method, we have to use this three here eh, times this constant and say three times five one that will give us um one hundred and uh, 53, right? So if we have 153, we look for two factors from all the factors of 153. Two of them that we will multiply together we give us plus 153. Then we sum them up to give us minus 26. And so two of them is going to give us minus 9 and minus 17, right? So if we have here minus 9, minus 17, we give us minus 26, okay? So we have minus 9 and minus 17, all right? So let's look at the multiplication. Minus 9 times minus 17 will give us plus 153. Then minus 9, minus 17, that will give us minus 26. So let's go ahead and rewrite this quantity here. So we have here 3x to the power of 2 minus 9x minus 17x then plus 51 equal to 0. So we can put this in bracket, then bracket this and factor out terms that are common. So 3x is common to both sides here. So here we have here 3x. Uh, bracket. If we use 3x to divide this, we are left with what? Just x here. So we have here x, then minus. We use 3x to divide this, we are left with 3, those bracket, minus. If we use 17 to divide both sides, that will give us something reasonable. So 17 is common to both sides here. So we put down 17 here, the bracket here. We Use 17 to divide this. This will give us our x minus times plus will give us minus. Then 17 into 51 will give us a 3. Close bracket. This is equal to 0. So we discover here that year, year, the quantity year and the quantity year are the same. So we can take one of them and take these, these that are outside. So doing that, we're going to have our x minus 3, close bracket, bracket, 3x then minus 17 equal to 0. So we equate this to 0, equate this to 0. So we have here our x minus 3 equal to 0, or our 3x minus 17 equal to 0. Easy, right? Good. So here, our x is straightforward, positive 3. Then on this other side, we have or our 3x now be equal to positive 17, then divide by 3, divide by 3. So here we're going to have x equals to 17 all over 3. So this is the other value for our x. So let's continue and get the values of k that will make this cubic polynomial equation have our three real solution or real roots. Okay, so we're taking the first one here x equal to 3. So our equation will now become our x to the power of 3 
minus 13 x to the power of 2 then plus 51 x then plus rk equal to 0. So whenever we see x, let's put in the first value, which is our positive 3 here. So this is going to give us our 3 r raised to the power of 3 minus 13 bracket 3 r raised to the power of 2 plus 51 bracket 3 bracket plus k equal to 0. All right. This will give us 27, right? Then plus, here we're going to give us 9. Then 9 times 13 will give us 1, 1, 7. Then plus, here we're going to have our 1, 5, 3 plus k equal to 0. Then if we, uh, sorry, yes, minus please, uh, this is minus, right? Good. So 27 minus 117, that will give us minus 90. So I have a minus 90 then plus 153 plus our k equal to 0. Then this minus this will give us um, minus 63. So we have here to be um, plus 63, rather plus 63 plus our k equal to 0. So if you send this to this other side, we have k to minus uh, 63. So that is the first value of k. All right. So we have our x equals to 17 all over 3. So let's substitute in and get our value for our k. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to have our, our 1 all over 7, uh, 3, all raised to the power of 3, then minus 13 into 1 all over 17, sorry, all over 3. R raised to power 2, then plus our 51 into 51 into um, 17 all over 3 plus bracket plus R k equal to 0. If we simplify this down, then we're going to have our 1, 4, 4, 5 all over 27 plus k equal to 0. So from here we have k and I'll be equal to minus. 1, 4, 4, 5, all over 27, right? So the range of value of k that we actually uh, give us our three real root from this uh, cubic polynomial equation is going to give us here our k now be equal to, here yeah, the first value we solve for is minus 63, right? Less than our minus 1, 4, 4, 5 all over 27. Okay, so this is the value of k, the range of value of k that we actually satisfy this uh, cubic polynomial equation. All right, thanks for watching. See you in our next class. Bye for now.